time welcome management. to session 1 of chapter 8 exploring the internet now in this chapter we are going to study about the topics that means what are the services available on the internet the first we are going to study about e-commerce next what are the advantages of e-commerce then what are the different modes of e-commerce service and what are e-commerce sites and what is the meaning of online shopping. Now firstly we are going to see what is e-commerce. Now e-commerce means electronic commerce. Basically we can say that it refers to the process of buying and selling products online and it uses internet technology. That means whenever we are going to purchase anything through the internet or through online, then we call it as e-commerce. Everything like buying of the goods and selling of the goods when it happens over the internet, then we call it as e-commerce service. Many companies have set up their websites which provide the facilities for selling their products and services. Now, next we are going to see the, what, who are the people involved in e-commerce service. Now, basically there are three types of people which are involved in the process of e-commerce. Who are those people? They are first one is the producer, then we have the seller and then we have the buyers. Now, just understand this concept with the help of an example. Like, uh, just take an example of a farmer. Who is the farmer? Farmer is the producer. Farmer is producing the thing like any vegetables, anything he is producing, and that vegetable, that particular vegetable, is going to the seller. Seller means the one who is going to sell that vegetable. Maybe it can be a shop owner or it can be a vegetable vendor. And then through that shop owner, we are the ones, we people are the ones who are going to purchase those vegetables from the shop owner, and therefore we call ourselves as the buyers. So basically there are three types of people, one is the producer, the next one is the seller and the third one is the buyers. Now what is e-commerce process? Now just look at this diagram, through this diagram the things will be more clear. Like e-commerce you can see in the diagram one person is sitting with the computer. What that person is doing, that person is ordering the things to the computer and the internet. Next. From that uh, computer, the things, whatever things we have ordered online, that will we have selected the product, whichever product we want, to be product we want, we select it. Select it, we will have a payment for that product. For payment, ke liye, you can have any of the services like bank payment, we can do it, or 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 we can do it, payment, you have payment, kiya. payment ke pehle, जो भी आपने प्रोडक्ट सिलेक्ट किया था वो कहां जाता है वेयर हाउस पे वेयर हाउस में कि जो आपका प्रोडक्ट है वो वहां पे जो भी आपने प्रोडक्ट सिलेक्ट किया वो वेयर हाउस में जाएगा वेयर हाउस में जाने के बाद उसको वेयर हाउस वाले शिपिंग के लिए कर शिपिंग के लिए मींस जैसे भी जिस तरह से भी आपका प्रोडक्ट आप तक पहुंचेगा एक ट्रक से पहुंचे या किसी भी मीडियम से आपका प्रोडक्ट आप तक पहुंचेगा उसे कहते हैं शिप शिपिंग के लिए उन लोगों ने उसे लोड किया लोड करने के बाद वो कस्टमर्स के पास जाता है द कस्टमर्स आर वी आर द कस्टमर्स कस्टमर्स के पास जाने के बाद अगेन अगर आपको फिर से कुछ ऑर्डर करना है देन अगेन यू हैव टू ऑर्डर टू द एंड सो दिस वे दिस प्रोसेस इज ऑन गोइंग नाउ नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफरेंट मोड्स ऑफ ई कॉमर्स नाउ देयर आर बेसिकली फोर मोड्स ऑफ ई कॉमर्स वन वी कॉल इट एज बी टू बी बी टू बी मींस Business to business. Second mode is C to C. C to C means consumer to consumer. Third is B to C means business to consumer. And the last one is digital, that is bank. Now we are going to see about each and every mode in detail. Now look at this table. What is this B? B to B, as I told you, B to B means business to business. Basically, in this type of mode, the business, it refers to the transactions in which a company buys or sells products and services from one company to another company. 
not to an individual. We can take an example like the manufacturer who is manufacturing the product. He or she is directly selling it to the wholesaler, not to an individual. Now, next we come to the C to C. C to C means consumer. Consumer to consumer. In this consumer to consumer, there is no business involved. Directly like individual consumers trade with other consumers directly, person to person transactions happen. That means uh, websites are involved in this and the websites help people buying and selling products and services. The best example is the eBay. eBay is an online shopping website and eBay's auction service is the best example for this C2C mode. Third, we come on to B2C means business to consumer. Business to consumers, that means this is involved in it. it involves customers gathering information, purchasing or receiving products over an electronic network. This way it is the customers involved in it. And the business may direct business quality of it, like to be product manufactured, but directly customers who sell it. If you have a business, you can sell it. Wholesaler to sell it and you can put it direct customers to jump and have a customer's get your order to pay through the electronic media. Like you can take an example computer company selling laptop to a consumer. So, if you have a computer company, you can ask the company to sell it through the consumer. Now, next we come on to the last one is digital middleman. Digital middleman is the first year company that gathers information about the company which provides similar types of services or products and displays them on their own. Website. Like you can take the example, wholesalers buy goods in bulk and sell them to the retailers in large quantities. Wholesalers who are there, they have a lot of uh, products or goods in bulk and sell them to the retailers in large quantities. And they have a lot of products in large quantities. The retailers who are there, they have a lot of products in large quantities. I hope this uh, particular process is clear to you. Now, next we come to the advantages. Now, what are the different advantages of e-commerce? E-commerce is what are the advantages of e-commerce? Why do we have e-commerce to use it? Now, first advantage is there are so many advantages, but here we are going to discuss what these are only. There is no need to go to the showrooms or shops. E-commerce is not the need to go to the showrooms or shops. You don't need to cash carry. Things can be purchased anytime from anywhere. You can order your own home online. You can order your own home online. You can order your own money and time are easy. और टाइम ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग में आपका आपको डिस्काउंट्स मिलते हैं ऑफर्स आते हैं तो बिकॉज़ ऑफ दैट योर मनी एंड टाइम का नाउ वी कम ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक व्हिच इज ई-कॉमर्स पेमेंट मोड्स नाउ ई-कॉमर्स में व्हेन यू व्हेनेवर यू गोइंग टू डू एनी ऑफ द शॉपिंग देन वी नीड टू गिव द पेमेंट पेमेंट मोड्स कैन बी सो मेनी लाइक यू कैन पे द कैश पे एज अ कैश मोड आल्सो एंड इफ यू डोंट हैव द कैश राइट नाउ then uh, you can do, there are so many payment sites available, like you can see okay. from the uh, pictures, we have the PayPal site, and then we have the Visa cards, MasterCard, then we have the Paytm also, then we have the Google Pay also, we have Phone Pay also, and this type of uh, payment system is known as Electronic Data Exchange, and in, basically in this type of payment mode, credit cards and debit cards are also now next is e-commerce sites and what is online shopping. There are so many e-commerce sites available uh, right now. Like uh, you people must be having the online shopping. You are looking for the shopping site. You are like the uh, Fine Price there, Snapdeal is there, Amazon is there, Flipkart. Our websites are on the apne apne products ki varieties ho ki hai. So prices ho ki hai. Kabhi kabhi offers bhi aapko dete hai. So this way you can have the e-commerce sites and you see the sites which are your sites are the initial distribution because there are so many sites available our site every site is not trusted so before shopping to any of the sites you should have you should know if to this type site you can do the online shopping and online shopping basically we call it as like the process of buying things through the internet and making online payments through the credit cards of uh, uh, we are having some more topics left. We are going to discuss more those topics in our next session. Thank you, children.